Hey guys, welcome to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be talking through what I think are the best brushes um, style wise, like what kinds of brushes um, you need if you're just starting out in makeup and you, you have no idea where to start because I was in that boat at one point and I just bought random brushes and now that I've used brushes for so long um, I think that I, I have a good idea on the ones that I reach for the most and think are the most important for a beginner. So if you want to see what my recommendations are, then just keep watching. Alright, so I'm basically going to just go through, um, you know, the face as you would um, actually apply your makeup. So for foundation, I have two recommendations. Now this is going to be based on preference. Um, so we have a flat top of kabuki style brush, um, which would be good for blending out foundation or you can get a beauty sponge. For me personally, I prefer the sponge. I think I can get a much more um, like flawless application. I find when I use brushes, I don't know, sometimes I get streaks and I just, I always end up going back in with the sponge. But again, all preference. So one of these in your collection would be perfect. Then the next brush I'm gonna recommend is some kind of fluffy powder brush. Now what's good about a fluffy powder brush is that you can make these very versatile. You can apply your translucent powder, you can do bronzing, you can do your blush, there's a whole you know bunch of things that you can do. Now as you see all of these are slightly different. Um, so, by the way some of the brushes I'm showing you are Morphe, some are MAC, some are Sigma, Real Techniques. It doesn't matter the brand, I'm just basically showing you what brushes, styles you should be looking into getting. So these are all slightly different, um, but they all do the same job. Um, I usually, this has been, I've been using this for years, perfect for applying translucent powder and if you just want to bronze, not contour. Now if you do want to contour, um, there are two different styles that I'm going to recommend. Either something like this, an angled brush, or just a smaller fluffy brush. As you see, this could get in perfectly to do a contour, but this can also. Now I think both of these you can also apply your blush with. I don't really use blush, but this one would almost be perfect for blush. So one of these would be great for a beginner. Now for highlight, I was always using a fan brush up until recently, and then I discovered this brush, which is basically just a fluffy brush, but this applies highlight way better than this did. However, this did do the job for a long time for me, so that's why I'm including it. So if you like the fan, and I think this was also really good when you're starting out with highlight because it's you just literally line it up and it goes perfect. Whereas this one, you have to kind of, you know, guide it yourself. So, but I think these are definitely what I would recommend if you aren't at the most beginner stage and you are familiar with how to apply highlight then these would be good otherwise I think this is great for a beginner just getting started with highlight this really helped me learn how to apply apply it so fan brush or fluffy brushes like this all right so now um, another thing I would recommend and this I think is crucial is I've had this brush pretty much since I began doing makeup, um, seriously, like, I used to do makeup back in high school, but I didn't know anything really about brushes. It wasn't until, you know, after I graduated that I started to discover, um, all the brushes and everything, so basically this is what I've been using since I've been into makeup. Um, this is a Real Techniques, I don't know what the exact name is, but as you see, it's like, it's kind of flat. I mean, it's a little fluffy. Here's it on a side, it's, but it's perfect for the under eye. This is perfect to set the under eye or um, set down your lid if you just put primer on and you want to set it down. This brush has been amazing. Um, I use this all the time. I also think it would be a good idea to get some kind of cream product brush, um, like for concealer if you want to get you know, very close. I think a cream product brush like one of these would be perfect. I usually just blend all my cream products out with a sponge, but I do think that sometimes this comes in handy if you're trying to cover a spot or you want to get really tight underneath the eye. I think these are great options. To move on to the eyes, um, we're going to start with definitely something you need, I think. 
And now this is a big fluffy crease brush here. Three different options. I've been using the Sigma one forever. Um, I just recently got the Morphe one from the Jaclyn Hill collection and this one is from Sephora. I really like all of these. They all do a very similar job. As you can see, they're very, very similar. I definitely think this is very important because it's how you can build in your crease and you can even use this carefully to be more defined. So let's say you only could get this one brush. I think you're going to have a lot more options with this, but I definitely think everyone needs one of these in their collection. Next, I'm going to suggest a more like a medium crease brush. As you see, these are a little bit smaller compared to um, the ones I just showed you. I know it doesn't really look like it, but they are. And I think these are good because if you want to get a little more defined in the crease and it's not going to go everywhere as like this one would. As you see, this one's a lot more fluffy and this one is a little more defined. So I think having um, one of these in your collection as well is perfect for getting a more defined look. I definitely use one of these every time I do my makeup. Then I'm going to take it even a step further. Um, this is, I don't say, I don't think... I would say that you do need this if you do a lot of like outer corner smoky looks is one of these. These are both small crease brushes and these are perfect for really defining the outer V. And that's why I think these are important. This one is from e.l.f. I think it was like a dollar. So like I said, brand doesn't matter. Find whatever works for you. Um, just, you know, something like this is perfect to do outer corner work. And now, also, I think it's very important to have some kind of, like, shader brush. I know two of these are very similar and one is different. I think as long as you have some kind of shader brush in your collection, you're good because you can do your brow bone highlight, you can pack on shadows, which you don't even need a shader brush to pack on shadows because a lot of times your finger will do the trick. A lot, a lot, a lot of times I go in with my finger for my lid shade and then you know, I may use one of these to like blend it into the crease a little better, but I, you know, I, your finger does a good job. But I do think everyone should have one of these um, in their collection as well because like I said, brow bone, blending into the crease, packing on shadows, these are good. So now to move on to the lower lash line, um, I definitely think everyone needs a pencil brush. Once I got a pencil brush, my makeup game was changed because I, you know, I, I never really used the pencil brush before because I don't know why I just always kind of struggled with it in the beginning, but now these are like game changers. I think the under, the lash, lower lash line is very important in your eye look because it just connects everything together and a nice pencil brush is perfect for blending out the colors in the lower lash line. Then I'm going to take it a step further for the lower lash line and say you need a flat definer brush. Now I recommend these, which I got these also a little later into my makeup career with brushes. Um, these are a flat definer brush and these are perfect for getting literally right onto your lower lash line. So, and you can even use these to, um, you know, if you want to line the top of your lid with, you know, like a black shadow to give the effect of eyeliner. These are perfect. A flat definer brush, I think, really is a must-have. I use one pretty much every time I do my makeup, like I said. Alright, and then also I'm going to recommend an angled brush. Now, an angled brush has multi-uses, so you could do winged liner with this, you can do your brows with this, and I also think if you're in a pinch, you could do your brows with a flat definer. That's another reason I recommend it. No, it's not going to be as easy as with an angled, but as you can see, it is possible. So this could, this is also a really good multi-use tool. But an angled brush does make it a little easier to do the brows, so that's why I'm recommending it. And also, I'm going to recommend I mean, I'm going to suggest, I have not actually used it myself, but if you, let's say you only have one of each of these brushes and most of us don't wash our makeup brushes every day. I know, I don't, I try to do it like twice a month. I don't do my makeup every single day, so I don't need to do it as frequently as some people might, but I did pick up these, this Eco Tools cleansing cloth. Now, this is perfect for a quick daily cleanse is what it says. I have been using the Eco Tools brush shampoo, and I do like that. Um, does the job. 
and I think these are going to be perfect for someone who doesn't have, you know, multiples of the same brush like I do. And I, like I said, I haven't actually tried these, but I do think that this is a really great concept and I definitely will be trying this because, like I said, I don't wash my brushes every day and sometimes if you just did a really dark look, you gotta clean the brushes off and you don't wanna do a deep clean. So, I think these are a great idea. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video um, and my recommendations for what a beginner or someone just, you know, kind of looking into brushes, what I think you guys need. Obviously, no one needs any of these things, but I do think if you have one of each of these brushes, you're going to be able to do a complete look with no problems. And, you know, I have a ton of brushes. These are just some, you know, obviously I just, all the other ones I have I just showed you are laying out. And the ones I showed you are the ones I gravitate towards the most. So, yeah. Alright guys, so that concludes this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And also leave me a comment down below letting me know what your favorite brushes are. And if you think there's anything that someone needs that I missed. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.